people are often surprised by how many careers there are in dentistry. You know, there's not only general dentists, but there's also eight specialties of dentistry, orthodontics, oral surgery, pediatric dentistry are some that people think of, but there's many more. All of those dentists employ dental auxiliaries, dental hygienists who are the preventive specialists and clean teeth, take x-rays, give fluoride treatments. Typically an orthodontist would have um, five, 15 dental assistants doing most of the work. Uh, then there's also laboratory technicians who do the behind the scenes like make crowns and bridges and dentures and partial dentures. And then there's always the front office personnel. The person has to enjoy working with people because it's a very people oriented field. But it's not life threatening like medicine. It's usually in helping improve a person's self esteem, appearance, feelings about themselves. Um, but also have to like to work with their hands because the mouth and the teeth are pretty small objects need to have pretty good eye hand coordination and enjoy science. You know, have a genuine interest in people and anatomy and uh, how the body works. When you think of nursing, nursing has to be someone that is caring, um, that has a heart for people and has a love for people and, and don't mind doing that. In nursing, uh, we have different programs that you can go off into. They have nurse anesthetists, they have uh, nurse for surgical nursing, um, for pediatrics, obstetrics. The field is wide open. We have private duty nursing. Uh, you can go on and be for a nurse practitioner if you want to get advanced standing in nursing. A lot of the uh, private duty, you can go into the hospitals, you can work in doctor's offices, you can work in clinics. Um, again, you can do private duty. They have a lot of agencies that are out there and available. So you can go from nursing home to clinics. To, it's a variety of things that you can do in nursing. Then you also can go as a um, uh, physician assistant. And that's really not in the nursing field. That's more so in the medical field. But here at Grand Rapids Community College, you can take some prerequisites, which will allow you to be able to apply these classes once you move on to further your education. As far as them actually getting jobs, right now there's such a shortage in nursing that um, usually the students come out and they have good clinical background and good clinical skills, in which we offer here at GRCC, they are able to get jobs. Typically the job of the radiographer is to take diagnostic images to show to a radiologist and then the radiologist will determine, you know, what diseases or whether or not it's a normal or abnormal uh, uh, radiograph of, of the various body parts that were radiographed. The length of time that it takes one to become a radiographer is uh, two years basically, uh, four semesters and two summers for our program. I think that our program uh, is a fun program as well as a very educational program. Uh, the students are able to do a lot of different things and, and for instance it isn't just you know where they sit around and you know Learn, learn from their books. It's a fact that they can actually be involved in helping people as well as uh, getting a good education. Uh, the job potential is tremendous right now. Uh, the last couple of years there's been a shortage of, of radiographers out in the field and uh, so our students can just about you know choose any different hospital to work in uh, and be able to work there. An occupational therapist is a person who's adaptive, they're able to think on their feet, do some critical thinking. It's typically a person who's interested in the healthcare area, the biological sciences, the behavioral sciences, and also has a flair for creativity. Occupational therapy is a healthcare profession and also rehabilitation that works with people who have physical handicaps, mental illness, emotional problems, social problems. Um, it could be children who are born with uh, congenital problems, and we are working with people to try to get them to be as independent as possible. You could work in inpatient hospital, outpatient, rehabilitation, nursing homes, psychiatric centers, schools. A lot of charter schools are also looking at occupational therapists right now, um, and those are the traditional places. We're also working in wellness centers with um, older adults and try to get them to be living in the same area that they are and it's called aging in place. Typically we would be looking at patients who have strokes, Parkinson's disease, cerebral palsy, those types of things, but because 
of the good health care that people are getting and the good safety, we have a lot of, um, one of the big areas now is traumatic brain injury. People are surviving automobile accidents, so there's a lot of organizations that have expanded their care in that area. Another area is children. A lot of children are surviving congenital birth defects and things, and, and those children are not surviving, so that population's gotten larger. And then the obvious one is the baby boomers. We all are growing older, and there's going to be a very large need for, to treat the elderly over the next 20, 30 years.